Union workers, they're angry this morning after learning that they're losing their jobs at an Illinois Jeep plant. Uh, the parent company, Stellantis, says it's because of the rising cost of electric vehicle production. Kelsey Kernstein is live outside that plant in Belvedere, Illinois, for us. Kelsey? Hey, Adrian. Yeah, this is really a tough day and a tough weekend for these auto workers, manufacturing workers right here in Belvedere, Illinois, at the Stellantis factory. Um, their work now being moved to Mexico. The automaker behind several iconic American brands, including Jeep, Chrysler, and Dodge, announcing it will halt production at a Jeep manufacturing plant. Stellantis sharing Friday, the move will leave more than 1,300 workers at the Belvedere plant laid off. The Amsterdam based automaker is reportedly moving production to Mexico. In a statement, Stellantis says, quote, our industry has been adversely affected by a multitude of factors like the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic and the global microchip shortage. But the most impactful challenge is the increasing costs related to the electrification of the automotive market. In recent years, the Belvedere plant has seen regular staff cuts, with Stellantis reducing its workforce from more than 5,000 in 2019 to zero by March of 2023. The plant's UAW shop chairman, Timothy Ferguson, says Solantis is trying to avoid violating a recent bargaining agreement. Now that they finally have made an official announcement that they're, you know, going to essentially idle us, which is, you know, an a, a easier way of saying close because by our collective bargaining agreement, they can't close us during the term of this agreement. The world's fifth largest automaker has been slower than some of its biggest competitors to shift from gas to electric vehicles. Volkswagen has mounted a $100 billion challenge to Tesla supremacy in the electric car lane. Ford spent more than $11 billion building out three EV-related facilities. And GM says it plans to spend more than $35 billion on electric and autonomous vehicles by 2025. Despite the layoffs at the Illinois plant, Stellantis has a plan that includes $7 billion in investments in EVs. And this Stellantis assembly plant, it will go idle by the end of February. Um, and lawmakers are really working with Stellantis to try to give initiative for them to have more, uh, bring more jobs here. But unfortunately, they say they have no concrete plans moving forward. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.